Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we are going to create the read progress bar. As you can see here, we have this nav bar and this lot of text here. So if I scroll down, as you can see in the left here, we have this progress bar with a yellow color. As you can see, if I scroll very bottom, we have 100% width here. If I scroll up, it's going to be gone like that. All right, so really simple. We are going to use react and also for styling again we are going to use tailwind of course so down here i have already generated current react app so now let's open the folder into the vs code so i'm going to say code read dash progress dash bar okay so now it's going to be open in the vs code so let's make it bigger all right, so now let's remove a couple of files that we don't need. I'm going to remove the app CSS, the task here, logo, report web files, setup here. So let's get rid of this file. And now let's go to index.css. I'm going to remove the report web files here. Save, let's close. Go to index.css. I'm going to remove everything here. And let's go to app.js. And now we need to remove all this header and just put uh, let's say app here and I'm gonna remove this CSS and logo. So now let's open the terminal with control back tick. So now let's run yarn start. All right, it's going to be open the app with localhost 3000. And here we go, we have app here. So now let's install Tailwind. So pretty simple to install Tailwind. Just go to docs here and go to framework guides. Uh, we're using create react app, right? So let's just copy this code here and open another terminal. Let's paste that in here and hit enter. All right, so now it's done. Let's close this terminal here. Now let's copy this code here and go to Talon configs.js right here. And let's paste that in here, save. And we need to copy this and go to index.css. Let's paste that in here, save. And now let's open the terminal again. Wait, something wrong. All right, let's start the server. I want to say yarn start. So now let's zoom in and I'm going to add a, so let's say text center just to make sure this is work. So as you can see, this work. So the first thing is we are going to create the navbar component. So let's go to source here and I'm going to create folder called components. And inside this components, let's create a file called navbar.js file all right it's going to be uppercase first so let's say like that so let's generate rafce and hit enter and this is going to be navbar with capital and let's say navbar okay and i'm gonna use the nav tag so let's remove this diff and i'm gonna say nav okay in this nav we have diff all right and inside this diff basically we have the anchor tag first it's going to be for slash and this is going to be the chan dev and also we have div here and this div have a class name set it equals to i want to set that the display to flex and also the gap i want to set that to ache and also inside this div here we have ul and li inside in here so in this li i want to say home first let's say home copy and paste that a couple time and this is going to be the about and it's going to be the surface maybe surface no surface and also maybe uh contact okay so now let's save and let's take a look in the browser what we have uh oh yeah we don't uh, import the navbar to app so let's let's first remove this uh class name and we need to imported enough bar here like that okay just make sure this is uppercase n and if i save we should see this chandev home about surface and contact okay pretty nice and now let's go to navbar just and in here i'm going to add the class name set it equals to basically in here i'm going to set that the display to flex items to center and uh, justify content to space between so justify between all right so i'm gonna wrap everything inside a container and also the mx i want to set that to auto to make it uh in a center 
and also the text, let's say XL. Okay, so now save and let's take a look. Beautiful, we have this Chan dev in the left and then this div here, here to the right. Okay, nice. So now let's styling this nav here. So I want to say class name, set equals to the background, I want to say gray 700. Also, the text I'm gonna say white, the padding vertically I'm gonna set that to six, and also the position I'm gonna set that to sticky, and the top let's say zero. Okay, so now save and let's take a look. Let's make it 100%. The zoom like that, as you can see, really nice. So now let's create the content component. I'm gonna do inside the components folder. I'm gonna say, let's say content.js file. So in here, I want to say RFCE and hit enter. We have functional pass component here. And inside in here, I'm going to create a function called render content. Okay, render content, so that equals to row function. And I'm going to render JSX in here. So let's say div first. So in this div, I'm going to add class name set equals to the margin top. I'm going to set that to 20. And also the lighting, I'm going to say, uh, let's say 10. The line height, right? And inside this div, I have p tag, and let's say lorem. I'm gonna do twenty or something. Yeah, just just do twenty. And also, I'm gonna copy two more time, so we have two paragraph in here. So next, let's render the function in here. I'm gonna render inside the div, so I'm gonna say render content like so. So let's render couple time in here and inside this div I'm going to add a class name set equals to the maximal width I'm gonna set that to 2xl and also the mx I'm gonna set that to auto to make it in the center and also the padding vertically I'm gonna set that to 10. So now let's render the content component inside the app here so I'm gonna do let's say content Okay, so now if I save and let's take a look, as you can see, we get a lot of content here, but I think we need to add more content in the second paragraph. So let's go back and I'm going to remove this second paragraph and I'm going to say p tag, let's say lorem, I want to create a 100 lorem, 100 word. So let's hit enter. So now save and let's take a look. We have a lot of content here, pretty nice. So next, let's create the progress bar inside this navbar component. So let's go back to navbar component. And in here, we are going to create span. But I'm going to create a span with self-closing, self-closing tag like so. And in here, I'm going to add the class name set equals to the position. I'm going to set that to absolute. The background, I'm going to set that to yellow. Let's say yellow 400. And also the hake, I'm going to set one. And the width, let's say full, and also the bottom zero. Okay. And also inside this span tag here, I'm going to add inline style. So let's say style set that equals to is basically transform. So in here, I'm going to backtick because we need to put a variable inside this backtick here. So now we need to say translate x. All right. So I'm going to put curly braces in here. And for now, let's put 5t and minus 100. Let's put percent in here. Okay. So now if I save that, let's go back. And as you can see, the progress bar in uh, 50%, all right? If I change this to, for example, uh, 100, you will see this is 100%. Okay. If I put, uh, for example, 10, it's going to be right here. Okay. Of course, we need to create variable that will be handle uh, this well, value in here. We need to have value from zero until 100, okay? So now let's create the hooks. I'm going to create another folder inside a source. I'm gonna give a name hooks, okay? Inside this hooks folder, I'm going to create a file called use reading, let's say progress.js file. So in here, I'm going to generate RIFCE and basically, this is going to be uppercase R. Let's do that. And we need to remove the React up here. And also we need to create the state in here. I'm going to give a name completion and set 
completion set it equals to use state by default is going to be zero and of course we don't need to return JSX. we need to return the completion variable in here so let's say completion okay if we want to use this use reading progress hooks we can go to navbar and in here we can say cons completion set that equals to use reading progress like that if i console log the completion we should see a zero in the console but as you can see you see something error in here use reading progress.js mm, it's gonna be uppercase like that so now let's open the console here and as you can see we get the zero okay so now let's go back to use reading progress and in here i'm going to add use effect let's say use effect the use effect dependency is going to be empty array and i'm going to create a function up here so let's say cons uh, update scroll uh, let's say completion set that equals to arrow function here but for now i just want to say console log let's say hello for now let's say hello and down here what i'm going to do let's say window dot at event listener we are going to listen for scroll event and when we scroll we need to run the update scroll completion function okay so if i save and let's take a look guys if i scroll as you can see the hello is running here the, uh, the function update scroll completion is running so let's remove this console here i'm going to create variable call let's say scroll progress set that equals to window dot scroll y okay so window dot scroll y is basically value let me let me console lock the scroll progress so you can see let me refresh and as you can see the first time we get a zero and then the value is updated okay the value here basically the hey start from here okay start from here until very top as you can see this image here the window scroll y is start, start from here the top of the scroll indicator here until the top in here okay that's the scroll y and next let's create another variable let's say cons scroll take set that equals to i'm going to grab the document dot body dot scroll hake i think let's say scroll hake this one i'm going to decrement with window dot inner hake document dot body dot scroll hake is basically the hake okay the all the hake inside this scroll and also the window dot inner hake is basically the hake of the window here okay if i change the window like this one the window dot inner hake is going to be start from here until here okay like that so now let's go back in here and what we need to do is i'm going to say if scroll hake have a value we need to set the completion into we need to make sure this should be number so let's say number and we need to say this should be a uh, current okay current progress and we need to say current progress you need to divide it by scroll hake scroll hake and also we need to say dot fix okay we need to get two value after comma and then we need two times by 100 like that so now if i save and let's take a look let me refresh as you can see we get value between zero until 100 really nice but also we need to remove the event listener down here so let's say return i'm gonna say arrow function here and let's say window dot remove event listener we need to remove for the scroll event and the function is gonna be update scroll completion like that so now we need to go back to navbar.js and use this uh value here into in here so let's say completion like that so now if i save and let's take a look guys let me zoom in and as you can see if i scroll down we get this indicator here 
Okay, the progress bar. If I go very bottom, it should be right here, which is 100%. Really nice. Let me zoom out. Okay, I think really nice, guys. I hope you learned something new in this video. And thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.